in the DMV, and I don't like that man, KP, man. That man think he bipping, and he think he, he out here bapping and all that other Bill Cosby lingo. Sight, now let me stop playing, bro. I love what KP doing, man. The day I'm going to talk about, man, he is the first artist soldier boy time. And this, I'm talking this gen generation right now, like in this this current era of rappers, not back in the days. But he is the first to start going, and he's actually taking over the schools, man. The kids love KP, man. And I ain't gonna lie, KP got the most marketable music for real, for real, like. I ain't gonna lie, when I first heard of KP, man, my man called me over, man. I was kicking it, cooling with him. We was in the garage and all that. He gets awesome. You heard of KP Skywalker. I was like, KP Skywalker? Like Star Wars, bro? Like, nah. And then, like, he played it. And I was like, oh, all right, that's dope. Ever since then, like, I low key been cranking. But I noticed he does not make free call music for real, for real. He just, like, make cranking mood songs. Man, I was listening to, well, I, I clicked on YouTube, man. I was about to crank some Jamoka while I was doing my little high speed drive. Man, I, I sang the free will and gays, man. I started listening to that junk, man. I was like, this man is not making... Baby Jamoka is not making it in the schools, but they is not going to let you come in there and rap no free car music, man. So I feel like KP is honestly going to be one of the most successful artists to come out of the DMV. I just based off marketability alone. But for real, for real, man... Keep doing what you're doing. It's your boy, the one, the DMV, and I'm out.